BCO. I tell you, Vice President, you are that. Omoa. Omoa Ali. What are you doing? Who said? Ejoko. Ejoko. Kento Beoromi. Marco Belli, or one more lorry later on below Ken, or Catia, or Pogma, or more lorry. No, I love one lorry in the corner, corner, no walk there. You check Boko on the arm, or lorry in the book on no walk up or all where look. Oh, my power, Lori, come. I have come with you, Mona. Okay, okay, Lori, in law. Okay, okay, landlord. Okay, okay, landlord. Okay, okay, landlord. Oh, Lord, you're telling me. Okay, okay, landlord. Oh, Lord, you're telling me. Okay, okay, landlord. I don't need to Okay, okay, landlord. I don't need to Okay, okay, landlord. APC Next level Nikaso Next level Amama Okay okay La mama law APC Next level Next level Next level Your Excellency the Governor of Ogun State My dear brother Prince Dapo Abiodu the chairman of the APC Membership Validation and Registration Commission and governor of Niger State, the great Abulolo, Alaji Abubakar, Sonny Bello, the former governor of Ogun State and our leader, Baba Aremo Olusegun Oshoba. The deputy governor of Ogun State, Dr. Noemot Salako Oyedele, the Right Honorable Speaker of the State House of Assembly, the Right Honorable Kunle Oluamo, the Chairman of the APC in Ogun State, Chief Yemi Sanusi, Chairman of the State APC Membership Validation and Registration Exercise, the Honorable Ademori Kuya members of the Ogun State House of Assembly present. My leader, APC Ward 1, Chairman, Prince Shegu Awomuzi. <laughs> Leaders of our great party in the state, all members, all members who have just joined us, all members who have just joined us from the PDP, from the ADC, from the APM, who have now joined our great party, the APC, I welcome you very warmly. As a matter of fact, we now have 22 members, 22 members of the House of Assembly in Ogun State out of 26. 22 are all our APC members. And we're expecting the others to repent very soon and join the great party. So we're expecting them many times soon. I also bring you the very warm greetings and felicitations of Mr. President, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari. I'm extremely pleased to be here. I'm extremely pleased to be here to participate in the registration and revalidation exercise of our great party. But first, permit me to welcome you all to Ikene, my hometown, but more importantly, the hometown of Papa Obafemi Awolowo, the father and progenitor of the great movement that we call the progressive movement today. It is on the broad shoulders of the social democratic philosophy of the maximum happiness and well-being of all the people that we in our great party, the APC, stand firmly and confidently today. 
And so we must situate this exercise, this registration and revalidation exercise, in that ideological context. Party registration and revalidation is important because it offers us an opportunity to have a credible role of our members such that we are able to reach our members from the polling booth level all the way to the wards, local government, and federal constituencies. Why do we want to reach our people? The people are the party, and the party is the people. There is no party without the people. The people are the party. That is why we must reach them. Ours, the APC, is a grassroots party, a party of the people. Our focus is on the welfare, prosperity, and well-being of our people. Party members must understand their importance in the scheme of things. They must fully understand the party's philosophy and programs. They must actively be mobilized to participate in and propagate and support government policies and programs. But I must say to you, and I'm sure you know it, you don't need to be told, that we are in government today at a most challenging time in the history of our country, and perhaps even in the history of the world. This is one of the most challenging times. The coronavirus, the, the COVID-19 pandemic, has made matters worse. And we have also had, as you know, security challenges that have stretched our law enforcement capacities all over the country. But we remain the best party, the best people to solve these problems. Let us, not be, let us not be in any doubt about that. Because of our grassroots orientation, we have and continue to put in place the best programs for the welfare of our people. Our focus on jobs for our young people is a resolute commitment of our party. Aside from the various microcredit schemes that we are putting in place, our payroll support program, the Empower, and now 774,000 jobs program, a thousand in every local government. We also have a mass housing scheme where we hope that every Nigerian that can pay 8,000 to 10,000 a month can own a home of his own. A mass agriculture scheme, solar systems deployed in 5 million homes. All of these things are programs and policies of a progressive party. They are not easy, it is not, you may not see immediately see the opportunities, you may not immediately see the effects, but you can be sure that every day and every night, the thinking of the leadership of the APC, the thinking of the government of President Muhammad Ibrahim is how can we make life better for the citizens of this country. And I must tell you, it is not without its challenges. There are many, many challenges. The security challenges that we have before us today are not insurmountable. They are not insurmountable. We must ensure, and, I, and, and there are a few things which we, must, which, we, which we are doing and which we must continue to do. The first is that we must ensure the prosecution of all those who have been arrested for kidnapping, for banditry, and for all manner of criminal activities in this land. There must be evidence that justice is being done. And this is achievable by the stronger collaboration between the police, the state ministries of justice, and the federal ministry of justice. We can make this happen, and we continue to work at ensuring that this is done. The second, the second opportunity that we have is that with the new service chiefs that Mr. President has just appointed, we have a fresh set of eyes, intellect, and skills, and a fresh look at strategies against the insurgencies in the Northeast, as well as against banditry and kidnapping elsewhere. In this new approach, as you will see, you will find that much greater emphasis will be placed on local policing and then on technology, especially for surveillance, for intelligence gathering, and even for attacking these villains and criminals. The third thing is that ultimately, we must put in place effective community policing. We have argued that many of us are in support of a state police structure. Meanwhile, we must 
speed up and strengthen the, all the community police instructions that there are. And these are, and, and we must, in the states, we must continually train, educate, and formalize local security structures that are already there so that they can complement the federal law enforcement agencies. Policing must be a collective effort from the local government to the state government up all the way up to the federal government. The fourth is that we must resist any attempt to destroy the unity of our country. Our people have lived together for decades, even centuries. While we must attend to the cries of communities and the cries of our people for justice, for equity, for fairness, we can do so within this same union. We can address the questions of justice, the questions of equity, the questions of balance, fairness within this union. Ultimately, we are stronger together than apart. I'm pleased to note that the exercise, this revalidation and registration exercise, has been very smooth in Ogun State. Materials have been distributed and the processes have been followed very closely. I must say that we must make the further step of ensuring that we are able to put all of this information on an electronic platform for transparency and for access by all of us to the information that is contained therein. Finally, let me urge all who want progress, prosperity, abundance and justice to register as members of the APC today. This great party is the vehicle and the platform for all of us to realize everything that we want. The goodness of this nation, the welfare of our people, education, healthcare, everything that we want, we can get on this platform of our party, the APC. God bless the APC, God bless Ogun State, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. APC! APC!